What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is LJ and this is Snow Clutch Garage. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a video on the V-Brace on my BMW. As you guys know, the V-Brace is the brace in the front of the car that you can see through the grills. What a lot of people do is they wrap the V-Brace to have a certain color or whatever color they want. And today we're going to be doing that. So I'm here at Dallas house. Hey, that's Dallas. Um, he runs Unworthy F30. Yep. And he's actually the one that's going to be doing the wrapping for me. I'm just kind of going to be here spectating <laughs> and filming. Extra set of hands. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we're going to get right to work and I'm going to let him explain it because he's done this on his car and this should be a pretty good video. So let's get to it. Hey guys, so this is what I'm talking about. This is Unworthy F30. This is car. If you look through there, you can see that V-Brace is wrapped in red. And I really, really like that. We got some wrapping paper for my car. And it's gonna be a little bit brighter, but I think it'll really, really enhance the look of my car. It's always so interesting to me to see the different versions of the F30s. We have a 328 back there. Pre-LCI, but it's got the M Sport bumper. And then we have my 340 LCI. So before we start, I'm gonna have Dallas explain what we're doing as we go, as I usually would on my videos. Hopefully you guys can follow along. It, I think it's pretty simple. I think the hardest part is gonna be uh, taking out that grill. Definitely. Right? Uh, but let's go ahead and show you how to do it. All right, Dallas, give us a rundown. All right, so it's pretty simple. There's pretty much just a couple bolts up here. They hold on the top of the bumper. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. It's what holds on this top section of the bumper. What we're gonna do is pop those out. That'll give us a little leeway to get our, our hands behind there. We'll pop all the tabs out of the grill and then that'll allow us to take the grill out. Then we'll go in there with some soap, some cleaner. Um, and we'll be able to actually clean the bars, get them nice and clean, get them dry. And then from there, we'll start the wrapping process. Sounds good. All right guys, so like I said, there's uh, six bolts here on the front. They're all T30s, and then you have two on each end. These right here, these are T25s. Um, you can take them out with pretty much any of these uh, little attachments. I've just got it on a ratchet here, but they, uh, they come out pretty easy. So it's probably one of the easiest parts of the whole thing. This is my workout for the day. <laughs> I believe in you. I'm trying to hurt us. <laughs> All right guys, so if we look in the front, we have a row of about six screws, and these are all T30s. But we also noticed that there is another section right here, and these are a little bit smaller. So for this, you're gonna need a T25, and that should remove the front part of the bumper. All right, so after you get the uh, six bolts on the front, which are T30s, and you get your two T25s on the top corner, next, you're gonna have these four clips. Good thing for those is they don't actually have to come off. It's real simple, just a little tug, comes right outside, see? Outside the clips. From there, we'll pull this up, actually get behind the grill, and uh, try our best to get these tabs out. All right, so the next step is, we're gonna go ahead and try to get these grills out. I'm gonna let him go behind there and try to actually pop the tabs. I'm um, gonna try to get the grills out. Like I said, this is the hardest part. So, I don't know how well you can look, you can come back here and look, but if you look back there, you see these little tabs right here? These are the ones that are really hard to take out, so, <sighs> I don't know, the best way I've done this before is you push in, there's like a little safety thing right there. You just push it in here. And on the other side, you kind of pull it back and then you'll feel that it loosens up. And as that one is pulled, push the next one. And you kind of see now we got progress. They're starting to come out. And then you go into the next one. Oh, that one's broken. <laughs> Not uncommon. So these are, this is done. And actually what I would recommend is if you already have it up to this point, try to find something to stick right here so it doesn't go back and get clipped back in. The bottoms you can feel right here, but it's really hard to get to, so. You can kind of see them on this side. So there's one right in here. This is the part that takes the most patience. You got one right down here at the bottom and then you got one that's right there. And that one is a pain. <laughs> 
There you go. There we go. Progress. Progress. And there's another one back here. And then there's another one all the way back here. And you just made that look easy. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I guess there was supposed to be one right here, but it's broken off. So you guys can see how painful that is. It is not an easy process. The best part about this is once you get one out, all you gotta do is stick your hand behind there and you can get the other. So what I would say just based on that is uh, be careful not to flex your bumper too much. It's pretty strong anyway, so I don't think it'll break, but you definitely don't want to cause any damage. Also be careful with the tabs. They're made out of plastic, so they'll they'll break and they're in the front of your car where your engine is, so the plastic will be extra brittle. So just be careful with that. But like Dallas said, once you have this, you can pretty much go anywhere. We did not have to break out the saw for this one. <laughs> so the second one will be a lot easier because you're able to reach all the places that you need to reach. Go. All right, let's we'll see what those tabs look like so we can understand how they pop off. So these tabs, if you're looking at it, yeah, like this. So basically they're hooked on like that so they don't come off. So what you have to do, press down on it and slide them through. But just remember when you're doing that, you kind of have to keep some pull on it so that it doesn't go back in because if you pull this one out, move on to the next one, the flex in your bumper is gonna cause it to go back and snap back in. You kind of have to play with it a little bit. But once you get one out, it's pretty easy to get the other ones out. Uh, hand it back to Dallas so that he continues the rest of this process. Got a little hot in here, so I had to take off my hoodie. So far, from what Dallas said, taking off the grill was the hardest part. And he just said that I made that look easy. Uh, apparently, it takes like an hour for him to do it. <laughs> but it literally just You're not supposed to tell people that. It literally just took me five minutes. So I think uh, things are gonna be speeding up pretty fast. Just because it took me a short amount of time doesn't mean that you should rush through it though. You don't wanna break your grill because you're gonna end up spending more money than you need to. So let's get on to the next part. So what we're gonna use next is we're gonna clean the bars. Um, so they're a little bit dirty as you can expect. So if you come down here, you're gonna see, I mean, they're covered with just like a little bit of residue. Um, I'm gonna use two types of cleaners. So some people would use like a purple power or anything heavy like that. For me, what I'm gonna use, this is actually what I use on my wheels for dirt and grime. It is a, it's made by Chemical Guys. Um, I'll put the link um, in there. And uh, if you guys wanna check it out, you can but it's a uh, it's a sensitive cleaner that's why I use it on my wheels uh, I'm gonna go actually refill it because I don't have a whole lot in here but we're gonna start with this and then we're gonna end it with just some simple Dawn dish soap and water that'll get all the oils and greases off make sure it's clean use microfiber towels and clean it up really good and then we'll get the uh, wrap started hey puppy hey he's so cute <laughs> all right so next what we're gonna do we're gonna grab some microfiber towels. Doesn't really have to be anything nice. Of course, we're just using this to get it clean. Um, these are some ones that I had laying around the house. Um, like I said, we're gonna use this first. This is my uh, dirt and grind that I use on my wheels. It's real sensitive, so we're not gonna mess anything up behind here. Um, it's also not gonna leave a whole lot of chemicals behind that'll um, make the, uh, the actual vinyl wrap not stick. After that, we're gonna follow it up with this. It does look like pee, but I promise you it's not. This is literally uh, just a couple drops of uh, orange, just dish soap and uh, water. Literally like just a few drops, you don't want too much. Um, and I may follow it up with a little water just to, just to make sure we're getting it fully clean of any residue. We'll go ahead and get all the dirt off of here. So to start with, I'm gonna go ahead and just spray it on here. I don't really wanna get everything in the background, so that's why I'm spraying it on the cloth first. You don't wanna spray it like all back there. As you'd expect, you're just gonna scrub them from every angle. Make sure they get nice and clean. The best part about this uh, this cosmetic add-on is you're not gonna see up there and you're not gonna see back down there, with, especially with the grill on. So this doesn't have to be perfect. This is a great beginner's mod that you can do. So that is like a little cosmetic touch. You can add a little color to your car and uh, pretty much just clean it and putting a sticker on when you think about it. But you do wanna make sure you get all the dirt off because if you don't get the dirt off, you're gonna have issues with your vinyl wrap peeling over time or it'll start to bubble up and unless uh unless lj's here take those grills out and you're like me it'll take you all day to do it again <laughs> so far so good right now dallas is just cleaning and uh 
Obviously, we're gonna do both bars, so he's gonna go ahead and clean the other bar. Same process. Um, like we said, this really isn't that hard of a DIY, and it's really good if you're just trying to add some accents to the overall look of your car. I don't have a whole lot of cosmetic things going on. In fact, I think about the only thing that's cosmetically visible that I've done to my car is the JB4 badge in the back and the two Euro Empire stickers on my quarter windows. What's the diagnosis? I think you're gonna need a new Hedrickel fly scotter. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> it's like a flux capacitor, but faster. If I've learned anything this year, it has clearly been the fact that not everybody is gonna be working on their car the way you're working on your car. Obviously, there are people that are more interested in looks and there are people that are more interested in power or performance. I'm one of the people that's leaning more towards the performance side. I think the F30s look beautiful the way they are, especially the M Sport models. And I don't feel like styling for me is that important. Not right now. I do eventually want to add some carbon fiber and lower it and stuff, but I really, really like the performance that I can get out of the B58 engine. Now, obviously, if you have something like a 328, you're not going to get that performance, but it's still a nice looking car, so you can definitely invest in the aesthetics of it. And ultimately, you'll have a car that looks much better, though it might not perform as well, but it'll draw attention because it's a nice car. I'm sure you can tell you more about that. Yeah, my car is slow. <laughs> Guys, before we go any further with this, I wanna say thank you for those of you that have subscribed and those of you that are keeping up with my channel and actually keeping up with the content that I'm putting out. I have a video that right now has 1.3K views and that's my MHD video. And I'm sure that if you look up there, you will see a little ribbon that tells you to go to that video. But I am really glad that I was able to put out a video that concisely explains what to do, both technically and just explain in a way that anybody can follow it so thank you very much guys for your support if you don't mind go ahead and click that like button and click that subscribe button so that we can continue with the rest of this video and i'm gonna hand it over to dallas so that he tells us what's next and we can go ahead and wrap this up all right guys so i just finished cleaning the bars really well um like i said we use the cleaner then we use soap and water then we use just water by itself uh, make sure that you transition between cloths in between those so that you know when you of course you're trying to get everything off with the water you're not using the same rag you use with the chemicals even though you're not going to wrap up in the nooks and crannies of the bars go ahead and clean them just in case there's any overlap from the extra wrap that might wrap around the areas you didn't clean very well so overall cleaning this is going to be the key to how long the wrap lasts the cleaner it is the better it's going to be so like i said now that i'm finished with that i want to make sure they have full time to air dry um, i did wipe them down with the dry cloth and everything but i want to make sure there's no residual water oils anything like that in the meantime we're going to go ahead and get the uh, the bumper put back on and hook back up put all those screws back in that we took out uh, because once we're finished we'll just snap the grills back in all right guys so Everything is dry now. Got the bumper back attached to get the seal back on. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and measure for the vinyl. So we're gonna measure pretty much the length of the bars. Um, as far as width, we're gonna go about two, two and a half inches. Um, I'll update on the next section if we do change that, but I'm just gonna measure the overall length of the bars. So it looks like we're gonna need about a foot. One thing I suggest is, is when you do buy the wrap for this, um, so this is, what is this, one foot by five foot? So one foot by five foot, um, I recommend going with that just so that you've got some extra. Best part about this is if you do it wrong, you can always pull it off and redo it. So that's the best kind of part is you can just try and let air with it. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go inside, we're gonna cut this about two and a half inches wide and then uh, one foot long, we'll do two of them and then uh, we'll come out here and start actually putting them on the car. All right, guys, so we have the strips here. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna go in here, we're gonna pull the top edge off like that. I'm gonna stick this right in here at the top. I'm gonna go ahead and get it started. Now, instead of wrapping around or starting on the edge line, I'm gonna start at the top in the center. So as I go down, I'm gonna slowly pull this down as I go. And all I'm gonna do is put some pressure in the center to make it stick to the bar. That way I know that this whole strip is centered. After it's centered, I'll go in and actually wrap around the sides. That way we know it's centered and it's gonna wrap fully around and it's gonna line up appropriately. All right. If you have one shot. One opportunity. One opportunity. <laughs> <Never> won it. <laughs> <laughs> Would you capture it? <laughs> or just let it stick? <laughs> <laughs> We've made contact! <laughs>
All right, so I pulled it halfway down. After I got the top started, I'm gonna make sure that it's still centered on the bar. And all I'm gonna do is just push it, make sure that it stays centered, only making the front touch. See? All right guys, so if you look in here, you can see all I have done is it's literally just attached on the center of the bar. And that's the only point of contact we currently have. Like I said, the reason why I do that is you wanna make sure it's centered so that you have enough to wrap around to the back sides. Up next, we're gonna make sure that we roll this appropriately. Make sure that it wraps all the way around. I'm literally just gonna use my finger. Always start in the center, go down from there. Make sure you have no creases. You could use a squeegee or something else with this if you wanted. For something like this, it's not necessarily necessary, but I'm just gonna slowly work it. And I'm probably being more careful than I should be. You could probably just slap this on as fast as you wanted and it would probably go just fine. Cause like I said, super simple and worst case scenario, you just pull it off and try again. Now at the end of the bar down here, I'll note, the bar does flare, get a little bit bigger. So right down here, it's gonna, the bar actually flattens out. So it is a little bit wider. So you wanna do that section last to make sure that everything else on the top is all lining up appropriately and doesn't crease. So we're just gonna slowly work it around. I like to say to use like the flat section of your hand just to make sure that you're not putting any creases in it with your actual point of your finger and just do a little bit at a time. All right, like I said, you wanna do this over the corner over here last. So we're just gonna roll that over the edge. But like I said, as long as you keep it centered, the only part that matters is what is facing out. All right, there's one. You always leave it like that, right? <laughs> it's master, but the other way, not gonna reverse. Well, you better get it right. <laughs> Pull up the saw. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so just like before, pull the top corner off just to get it started. And you want to get it centered. All right, guys, now we have the bars wrapped and Honestly, it looks so good. The last thing we need to do is put on the grills and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so LJ is gonna do the honors of putting the grills back in. Like I said, guys, they're just snap on. So this should just, a little bit of pressure, push them in and it should snap right back into place. Make sure you go around the grill on each click point. Make sure that each tab did connect. The last thing you want is he's falling off of the interstate. How's that look? Is that mean enough for you, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> Thoughts? Time to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the car out and the light. Yeah. Looks nice. What do you think? Good. Yeah, I think I did good. You think you did? Yeah, that'll be a thousand dollars. All right, guys. I hope you guys were able to follow the instructions on this. Like I said, it's fairly simple. I think Dallas did a really good job at explaining everything. Really, the only hard part is taking out the grills without breaking them. But other than that, it's pretty easy. The wrap itself is fairly easy to manage. And I will have a link below to Unworthy F30's channel and to the wrap that we used. And I will also list all the tools that were used in this process. I'll ask Dallas about the soaps and all that stuff. And I'll have all of that information in the description down below. But I wanna give a huge shout out to Dallas for taking time out of his day today and helping me do this. Honestly, we put this off for what, like two, three months? It's probably been three months. Yeah, yeah three months <laughs> that we've been talking back and forth about doing this, but he was, you know, he's got his own life, I got my own life. And it just so happened that today was a really good day to do that. So thank you for yeah, no helping problem, me yeah. and doing this. Um, I know that he didn't have to, but you know, help each other out, right? So yeah, it's fun. And you know, here in, especially here in Charlotte, I know the car community, it's really awesome. If you guys have a chance to help somebody out, you never know how long it's gonna go. They could be lifelong friends, you never know. So make sure that when you get the opportunity, don't hesitate to help somebody, share your knowledge. This, something I've done one time, did it on my car, and I did it awful. So I was able to actually show him some of my mistakes, make sure he didn't do them. I showed him the right way to do it. Maybe he'll show somebody else one day, but always just share the knowledge, <laughs> best you can. 
<laughs> exactly guys so anyway i want to thank you guys if you stuck around to watch this whole video if you like what you watch go ahead and click like on this video and go ahead and click subscribe because i will have more content for you guys in the future if you haven't already go to my channel and look through all the videos that i have on there i have some tutorials for both this car and the e90 so without further ado this is everything that was dallas and i will see you guys next time